Welcome back to The Morning Show. We're here with Don Owens, who is the Executive Director of the Link of Coleman County. And Don is going to tell us why she founded this organization and what their mission is. So good morning, Don. Good morning. Thanks for having me this morning. So, so tell us a little bit about the Link and, and uh, your call to, to make this happen. Wonderful. Um, the Link of Coleman County is a faith-based nonprofit that's working towards overcome the barriers of poverty to our poor. Um, and we do that by providing support services. And so my role in that and the call to that um, is that I have a real heart to uh, be an advocate for the poor, to help them um, have their voice heard within our community. So um, most of what we're doing is, is um, offering opportunities that we could hear um, some of their struggles, some of the challenges that they have, and then trying to create programs around that to develop ways so that they can move forward in life. So um, even though folks uh, may find themselves in a place of material poverty, they sure, certainly could be rich in other areas of their life. So we like to make sure that we're um, trying to help them identify the talents and gifts um, that they have within their life to help them, again, just to move forward. Mm. That's awesome. Yeah. How'd you come up with the name The Link? The Link, oh, that's a hard one to add. Well, really, it was just kind of a, okay, Lord, this is what you want me to do as a vision in the mm -hmm. community, and what would you like to call it kind of situation. Mm -hmm. um, the original vision of The Link came to me after my husband and I had originally moved here to Coleman, as you've probably noticed, I'm not from here. Did you take notice of what? that? Oh, well, yeah. no, We're shocked. Really shocked. Shocked. Shocked out of my mind. So I'm not originally from here, but he <laughs> has deep roots in Coleman and grew up here and moved away for a period of time. We got married. As we were um, dating, talked a lot about the possibility of planning a church. And we did move here to do that originally. And God kind of changed that vision as we moved forward. So. Um, it was about six months into that church plan that we just had to close the doors. There just wasn't enough momentum. But we always had the heart and the um, vision of the church to help break the cycle of poverty in Coleman. And so we started asking the Lord, what would you have for us here? And in that, um, got a vision of an organization that would sit like a hub and a wheel. And we'd then um, be almost like a clearinghouse of resources to our local community. Um, and in a way, really build unity in Coleman um, in meeting those needs. And I have a deep heart desire for um, community to happen. So it's not just you know lower class over here, middle class here, and upper class over here, but we're all engaging together, much like you see in the Acts um, version of the church. They all ate together, shared together, nobody was in need. And so to see that um, here in Coleman would be um, kind of my dream come true. And so um, with that vision, um, the Lord um, started to show me that it wasn't just to bring all those folks to a place where they get their needs met. I kept saying, well, okay, they get their needs met, but then what? Do they have any kind of life transformation? Does anything change? You know, if they get a utility bill paid or, you know, food in their belly or clothing in their closet, does that really help them move forward? And I kept hearing the, the answer, no, you do it for love. You do it for love. And so the verses of love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, and love your neighbor as yourself just kept resonating with me. And it's like, you know, in the Bible it says we love because God first loved us. But sometimes we define love as a quick transaction. And so we're highly relational in what we do. Um, since we've opened in January, we have served over 200 people that have walked through our door. And I share that. Um, with bittersweetness because it's difficult to really have relationship with all of those folks. There's two of us. We just hired on a part-time receptionist. She'll be joining us. Um, but it's very difficult to build relationship with that many people. But we want to know how their kids are doing. Do they have jobs? What's going on in their life? Did they um, uh, do well at their interview? Um, how's their budgeting going? All of those um, areas that they've come in to receive um, assistance with us for. So you do some skills counseling as well to help them yes. take take this uh, first seed and, and, and grow it then. Yeah. So how is the link funded? Are, are you um, seeking volunteers? Do you seek funding? Or how, do, how does that program work? It's a little bit of both, and I'm glad you asked that because that's really why I wanted to come today. We are desperate for volunteers. The In the um, 
essence of this vision, it was never intentional that it would just be staff doing this on our own. It would be the idea of the body of Christ in Coleman serving together um, and really trying to meet those needs. And so um, we've got a variety of ways that individuals in our local community could get involved. Um, if you've got um, a heart for adults, um, you could be an encourager. And an encourager is someone who sits down with someone who will come into our building. Um, we ask a question which is very unique to us. What is your dream? And so when we, when we ask that question, sometimes people are able to identify that right away. Other times they have a little bit of difficulty, and so we kind of draw that out of them. Um, but then we'll help them create long-term goals with a dream sheet. Um, we also um, help them with uh, um, career counseling, building resumes, doing mock interviews. Um, we also do um, financial counseling. We've got financial counselors on hand. These are all volunteer roles that I'm talking about. Um, we also have, uh, we host GED classes. We need GED tutors, um, adult literacy coaches. We're the only place in Coleman County that an adult who reads below a fourth grade level, and believe it or not, there's quite a few of them can meet with a coach one-on-one -on -one in a very dignified manner, learn how to read and write again, and really feel good about their accomplishment. And our folks are moving at a really great rate. We've got folks bouncing from level one to level two, and so we're seeing that um, move forward. And then we also teach English as a second language. Um, there's uh, lots of opportunities actually in our community to do that. We're just another one of those. Um, and just offering in a different area than some of the others. Um, and then we do, um, our newest program is um, VIPS, and I don't know if you've heard of VIPS yes. before, yes. Volunteer in Public Schools, and so we just recently merged with them um, because they meet the needs of at-risk elementary age students, and most of those students fall in the category of low income, 95% of them do, and so this is a great opportunity for us to now be able to say, hey, um, parent of this child that's being mentored by a VIPS member, we also have services for you. So if you need help, we're here for you as well. So now we're, we're one big organization instead of two working together towards the same goal. Um, and we're, it's our hope that as we work at these at-risk with these at-risk kids, we don't see them long-term in our adult literacy programs or needing their GEDs. We're going to have that long-term retention. They're going to graduate from high school, go on to college or trade or whatever it is that their heart's desire is. Um, and then we also have some programs that we've taken into the jails. And again, all of these are volunteer opportunities. We've got a program called Jobs for Life. We teach biblical um, principles to the inmates that are related to who they are in Christ and how that applies to how God purposed us for work, and that we were all purposed for work in mm -hmm. some way, shape, or form. And it's a 16-week program. We're teaching that to 30 inmates, about 14 women and 16 men right now. We also teach adult literacy to inmates, as well as English as a second language. So there's lots of opportunity to be involved with us. Um, in a variety of ways. Um, and then funding-wise, we are we are private funded completely. Um, and I've been very blessed in that being a founder of this organization and not being from here, going out, sharing the vision, and people just believing in this, which is just the really the, the essence of Coleman, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And so um, we've got a lot of um, businesses and um, a bank has bought into a program called Wise Up. Uh, People's Bank is our lead sponsor for that program and we're taking financial literacy into the schools with that program. We'll be at Vinemont, Handsful, and um, Where's Matthew? Oh, West Point this coming year. Very excited about that, ninth grade and 12th grade. And so um, we're also um, funded by individuals and some of our churches in the local area. Last question, how, um, how if someone needed this help, how would they get in touch with you? Um, they can call 256-775-0028. Um, for those who have internet access, you can access us either on Facebook, we have a growing Facebook following, um, as well as online at um, www.linkingcoleman.org is another way to contact us. Or you can come into the center, and we're located at the old Little Lambs Preschool Building, if you're familiar with that. It's 1101 Third Avenue Southeast. And we're happy to see you. We're open Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 8.30 to 4.30. Perfect. Yes. Well, thanks for what you're doing for the community. Yeah, Great thanks for having me today. Thanks.